commands that you would repent. He commands that you would turn from sin. Oh, don't be deceived. That's not much. The things you're sowing, God says you're going to reap. Your coatis, God says that your worms are going to eat up your body forever. You're full of lust. God says all fornicators, all adulterers will not inherit the kingdom of God. Well, don't be deceived. God's not my He sees every thought of your heart. And he says the thoughts of your heart are evil. What's God going to do against the evil, wicked heart? Oh, God says he's going to destroy the wicked. Jesus Christ is coming back in flaming fire to take vengeance on you who don't know God. Jesus Christ is coming back in flaming fire to take vengeance on you. Say the gospel of Jesus Christ. And he commands you that you would repent. Oh, don't be deceived. God's not lying. He sees your lies. He sees your covetousness. He sees your idolatry. He sees your violence, your love for violence. And God says he is not mocked. The things that you sow, you're also going to reap. You sow to the flesh, you're going to reap corruption. God says your work will never die. Your will never be quenched. You lift up your sin, just like Sodom and Gomorrah lifted up their sin. with his understanding. Oh, Jesus Christ, he delights to show mercy, but he only shows mercy to the humble. Jesus Christ, he delights to show mercy, but he only shows mercy to those who repent, who turn from sin, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ, he delights to show mercy, but he only shows mercy to those of you who repent. He turned from sin. This man says that if Jesus showed him mercy, he would win. But I tell you that the Word of God says if you won the whole world and you lost your soul, you would gain nothing. Oh, I hope you lose everything, sir. I hope you lose everything and you come to the end of yourself just as a prodigal son and you call upon Jesus Christ. You return unto him as a prodigal son, that he might give you life, that he might turn you away from your sin, from your lust, from your covetousness, from your idolatry, and that you might be made free. Oh, you are slaves. You're slaves. You're slaves to your sin. You're slaves to your lust. You're slaves to your covetousness. You're slaves to your lies. And Jesus Christ, he says, free. But you don't desire to be free, do you? Oh, America, land of the slaves. You're slaves to sin. You're slaves to your covetousness. You're slaves to your drunkenness. You cannot cease from sin. Oh, America, land of the slaves. That's headed for destruction. God says the nation that forgets God will be turned into hell. That's you. Oh, America, you'll be turned into hell. Because you have forgotten God. But Jesus said, if my people will humble themselves, pray. Oh, you don't humble yourself because of that. Jesus Christ won't have mercy on you. You don't humble yourself. And that's why Jesus Christ is coming back to judge this world in righteousness. You don't humble yourself. And that's why the wrath of God is going to be revealed against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of you. you. Continue on in unrighteousness. Don't be deceived. You're covetous. You're a liar. You're an adulterer. You're a fornicator. God says you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ is going to come back and judge this world in righteousness. Jesus Christ is going to come back and destroy sinners. Is that you? With cruel wrath, with fierce anger. But oh, if you repent and humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, He would have mercy on you. Oh, if you call upon Jesus Christ to have mercy on you, to take away your to cleanse you from all filthiness of your flesh and spirit, that you might perfect holiness 
in the fear of God, then Jesus Christ be on you. But God says, Reno, this is your condemnation that light has come into this world and you love darkness rather than the light. Neither will you come lest your evil deeds would be reproved. Oh, don't you see? Christ is going to come back and judge this world in righteousness. And if you will come to Jesus Christ today, that your evil But if you come unto Jesus Christ today, that he will have mercy on you. If you come to Jesus Christ, broken over your sin, over your lies, over your carelessness, over your idolatry, then Jesus Christ would have on you. Oh, do not be deceived. God is not mad. You so drunk. Jesus Christ says you will eternal destruction. You so violent. God says you will reap eternal destruction. You will reap everlasting fire in hell. But you call upon Jesus Christ for mercy, oh, then he would have mercy. You would turn you away from your lust, turn you away from your ungodliness. He would set you free from your sin, and you might have life, but you're dead. broken over your sin. Jesus Christ would give you life. You would be broken over the things that you love to do that exalt themselves against God. What are those things? Are you a liar? Are you a fornicator? Thank you. 